Okay, so a little bit of progress here. We've got the couch modified. A little section chopped out there so that I can get it as close to the wall as possible. Still left a bit of room there. So I want to be able to use back there for storage, for long stuff, fishing rods, clothes, whatever. I've moved the 12 volt cooler over here. This piece here, as you can see, is removable. I cut that piece of two by four because I, I might want to slide that back. I may want to build something out here just to cover the diesel heater tank if that's where it's gonna end up staying, just so you're not sleeping with it when the couch is in bed mode. I kind of like having the 12 volt cooler here at the back because it keeps the induction a little bit farther away from the bed. I've got the mattress cover here. Hopefully that fits. I got a twin size from all my measurements. It should be just about the right size. I'm gonna put some handles on these drawers today. Just real quick, this use better wood for the faces of your drawers because the cheapest plywood you can find will end up chipping. I've got a little bit of paint to touch that up, but it's annoying because you basically gotta paint the whole front of the drawer because if you just do a little section, it'll show. But yeah, I've got my garbage picked handles. Oh, always keep your eyes peeled. I've got some garbage picked handles here for me. Oh yeah. I like this edge here that stuff will get caught on, but baggers can't be choosers. I'm gonna toss those on today. Toss the mattress cover on and then probably keep going with the wiring. I've got to run all my wiring up along the headliner here and then I can put the headliner back in cut the trim ring for the fan, put that in. I've got to redo the curtains with some actual curtain rods. They're just snaps and magnets holding it up right now. This was all done to real, oh, there you go. Yeah, those those snaps are junk. Don't, don't waste your money on these snaps. I probably got like 40 bucks in snaps into this thing and you want curtain rods. These ones, they just rip out. I've got to redo these curtains too. These ones were just temporary a year ago too, so. That's where we're at. Still have to plumb in the sink. Uh, what else do I have to do? Tons of stuff. You can see it. I don't know how far I'm going to build out back here. It's just got to be properly wired in and then I've got to decide if I'm going to keep it open air or if I'm going to kind of build out like a kind of a wooden cabinet to cover that stuff. Working with the angle of the bed. Uh, jump in here. Give you an idea what it looks like, I guess, here. So, obviously just the, the drawer. This is the adapter for my fridge for the 12 volt. I still haven't plugged it in. Pretty risky, I know, having just one drawer. It's gonna be quite the junk drawer, but I kinda wanna put like a bigger drawer down here to pull out for like all my uh, kitchen stuff, pots and pans and whatnot. And then maybe one here, or I might use the doors from those handles and make cupboards. Looking at the alley space in my galley here, I think, uh, I think drawers are gonna be the best method because I won't be able to swing doors open too easy. Maybe over here, got the mattress cover there. Still gotta change the battery in my outside temperature. Did come back online though. Oh, where else are we here? I think I'm gonna leave pretty much the rest of the interior intact. I know a lot of people like to make it look like a Japanese sauna kind of deal with all the wood covering everything, but I kind of like the fact that it's a van. It's, I don't know, it's not trying to hide nothing. I mean, if it was a cargo van, yeah, I'd probably end up doing that, right? But I like having windows. As you can tell from my other video, I like looking out the window. Looking at, uh, especially at night too when you're sleeping, it's nice to be able to just really quickly peek. You know, just have a quick look through the cracks in your windows. Whereas in a uh, cargo van, you're kind of sitting like in an in a enclosed cave. Someone could be right on the outside of the vehicle and you'd have no idea. But, um, yeah, still have to mount the diesel heater controller. Not too sure where I'm gonna put that yet. I was thinking probably just back here. Cause 
There's no sense in running it all the way to the other side. I could extend the wires, but I don't really want to. You're pretty much just clicking and then using the remote. Or you can just use the remote completely. Where is it here? Yeah, so you can turn it on and off with that. Temperature up and down. What more do you need, really? So. Oh, and just so you know, I'm not a fibber. There's my extra diesel heater parts. Glow plug, the socket, some gaskets. I got a temp sensor on order. And the fuel pump is... Where is my fuel pump? It's in a bag of stuff somewhere. I've got uh, a USB tap that's going to mount here. Make the sink functional. I still have to get a drain. Got to mount my power bar on this side. Extension cord's got to run along the top here so that I can power up the induction. And it's still quite a bit to do. Kind of want to put some cabinets, overhead cabinets up here. Okay, real quick before it starts getting too dark here. The plan of action is to modify the bed here. I just got the legs pulled off it here. I've got to take like six inches out of here and then try and glue or pocket hole this wood back together so that I can slide the couch over and maximize my aisle space between my galley and the bed or the galley and the couch and then well, I gotta remember not to move the camera around so much and then uh, hopefully it'll be nice and tight to all these electronics here and there won't be too much wasted space back there but we will see Okay, so this is what it looks like unsheathed here. I just took out a bunch of these staples and then started ripping the material where it's not going to matter. So this is the section that I've got to take out right here. I might need to cut into that a little bit to make it work. Look at the wood that they use to make these things. Like I knew it was made cheap, but like that's not even... Like, holy... It's the end cuts of the end cuts. Like, seriously. That's what you're getting when you spend, I think this one is pretty cheap, like a hundred bucks or something like that, but it just goes to show, it's, uh, things aren't made like they used to be. I want to keep this nut cert, so that's why I'm not just, you know, relocating the, the uh, leg to down here. I've actually got to take a section out It'll either work or it won't. I'll have to figure something else out. Alright, bit of a mess here. Got the back half of her separated. Marked out six inches. Just gonna lop that off. See the seal is working pretty good here. Or dam, not really seal. Just gotta raise the front of the van up maybe so it drains. Or drill a hole, some people do. I don't know, we'll see what we come up with. Okay, so I got the futon pulled out of it here. The back has been modified, chopped down. Still got to glue and screw it back together. Might try and take a bit more off, but... Just want to make note, what a friggin' mess. I can't believe people actually build out the vans while they're living in them. That's that's crazy. That's obviously where my where my floor mat was is the clean spot, but there's sawdust everywhere. That gives me a chance to try out one of my new toys. Hopefully it's not too dollar store. Plug her into the house power there and see how good it works.
Well, it works. It's not amazing. Okay, we're gonna get the shot back. Okay, so we got it modified here. Cut out this section from here, and then just screwed it to the bottom. Which it doesn't look that good, but you're not gonna see it anyway when the couch is back in anyway. So maybe I can put this over, restaple it, make it look a little bit better. I gotta get more wood glue so that I can actually glue in here, glue these pieces to the frame for extra strength. 